welcome to Isolation Edition of Q&A. Okay, the first question comes in from Blake Apus. He says, thoughts on coronavirus? Um, there's not really any thoughts or opinions on it. It's absolutely terrible. How many people are passing away from it? How many people it's affecting? Who knows how many months it can go on for? I had a bit more of a statement in, in my last video, so if you wanna go check that out, it will be linked at the end of the video or in the description. This question from P underscore XOX347 uh, ties in with that question quite nicely. How long do you reckon till COVID-19 is over? Um, that all depends on how well people isolate and keep their social distancing. Um, there's variable factors when it comes to how long it can go on for, no one really knows. This next question comes in from Tim.O underscore O'Barry. He says, do you think that you'll ever blow up on the YT? Uh, honestly, not sure. This is kind of just a bit of a hobby of mine. Yeah, if I do blow up and have like a video go like mega viral and like, get some subs, that, that's great. But, uh, you know, I don't really mind if I, if I do, if I don't, that happens. Uh, yeah, this is just a bit of a fun hobby of mine. Uh, this question comes in from my brother, Zach. Uh, he says, uh, who are your top three favorite basketball teams? Uh, I would have to say, obviously, number one, uh, the uh, LA Lakers. Number two, I'd probably say the Milwaukee Bucks. I'd go with Celtics, because they've got Jason Tatum. They've got a couple couple, couple good fellas there. Our next question comes in from uh, Braden, uh, B.Smith06 underscore. He said, who do you think would have won the NRL season if it wasn't cancelled this year? I'd probably say it would be between Seagulls and Parramatta. I feel like Seagulls with Tom Trudovic, if he didn't get injured throughout the season, and if Mitch Moses stayed in peak form, I reckon they would have been the two in the grand final. So it would definitely have been between those two. The next question comes in from RT underscore Demon underscore 147. Uh, they say, uh, what do you think of homeschooling online? Uh, it's not too bad. It has its pros and cons. A uh, good part is you can kind of make your own hours of it. Uh, it's pretty flexible. You can do some work and go out and kind of do a bit of your own time and then come back and then do the work later. Uh, this is another basketball question. It comes in from underscore Tycav underscore. He says, Curry or Harden, Steph, all day. This question comes in from underscore Felix dot Watson dot underscore. And he says, will you be making a vid about things you do at home if you're bored during isolation? I uh, probably somewhat I'm gonna end up doing that somehow and being isolation at home you kind of almost have to in a way uh, So yeah, I'm sure I'll make a video about that sometime. Okay, this next question comes in from uh, Justin 14 he says who's the most toxic team or player in the NRL? Uh, when we're talking about players I'm telling you someone that's coming just done someone on the roosters Carflano, anyway, I've already done my little bit of a spew on that in TikTok, by the way, if you're not following me there yet, at the Jacko channel. When it comes to a team being toxic towards themselves, probably have to say Gold Coast, uh, as a team in general, just being kind of toxic. Storm. Next question comes in from Max underscore Diamond 40. He says, Kimmy, look at me. Look at me, Kimmy, look at me. Next question comes in from Isaac Hutch dot underscore. He says, how many brain cells does Blake Puss have for not believing coronavirus? Don't know. Can't answer that question. You'll have to ask Blake Apus how many brain cells he has. Can't answer that for you. Okay, the next question comes in from uh, Ryman345. He says, uh, what's your favourite subject to do at home? Probably anything that's like more physical or active. So like maybe like drama and like any PDHP kind of things. Like things that allow me to kind of move around and kind of do whatever I want more. That's quite a nice segue to this question from my man, Captain Kwan. He says, uh, how's homeschool going? Uh, it's not going too bad. I have a lot of free time, which some cases is good, some cases not too good, you know, because you end up getting really bored really friggin' fast. Now this question comes in from Raja YT. He says, can I be in some or like one of your videos? This corona thing decides to friggin' back the hell off, back to where it came from. But hopefully throughout the year I can make a couple more vlogs. And then, uh, yeah, you know, you can have a chance of being in one of TJC's esteemed productions. So guys, it does wrap up Q&A Corona Edition on TSC. If you enjoyed, please smash the thumbs up, click on with my face on it to become a member of the TSC. 
Turn. We're almost at like 560 subscribers. So if you go down there, let's get to 600 before the middle of the year. That would be absolutely ridiculous. So please do go down there, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications and check out my last video, Isolation Station, episode one. And peace.